There is so much content in the 11th chapter of the book of Ezekiel, but let me read to you a little bit just to kind of focus on what's often called as the new covenant that's referenced in this chapter. Starting in verse 18, it says, when the people return to their homeland, they will remove every trace of their vile images and detestable idols. Listen to this, verse 19. And I will give them singleness of heart and put a new spirit within them. I will take away their stony, stubborn heart and give them a tender, responsive heart. So they will obey my decrees and regulations and then they will truly be my people and I will be their God. In this chapter, elsewhere in the book of Ezekiel and in the book of Jeremiah, we are introduced to something that's called the new covenant. And you might be asking, well, what does that mean? Well, I love what Pastor David Guzik says about this. Let me read this to you. He says, God's plan of redemption through the covenants is completed and perfected in the new covenant. Perhaps you remember Abraham or Moses or, or David where God made a covenant with them. Well, it's in this new covenant where they come to fruition and completion. And he goes on to say, over the span of the Old Testament passages, there's an announcement of this new covenant. It's this announcement of this promise of a gathered Israel, this one heart dynamic, of a cleansing and a spiritual transformation, talking about a, a, a new spirit, not a, not a stony heart, but a soft heart, and a new and real relationship with God, where he says, they will be my people, and I, I will be their God. Now listen, at the resurrection of Jesus, I firmly believe that the new covenant is both here and now and it will be fully realized. You see, now you and I can have a personal relationship with God by grace through faith. And at the millennial reign of Christ, at the new heaven and new earth, we will see this new covenant fully realized. It's both here and to come. So today, walk with the Lord in this new covenantal relationship where you and I can walk with the Lord as he speaks to our heart, but always in concert and in confirmation with God's word. God desires a living, real, vibrant relationship with you. Today, walk with him, talk with him, be in his word, and walk in this beautiful new relationship of the new covenant with God made possible by Jesus Christ.